here. Jane and I are back with our traditional Friday that is a little more uh, about recovery than about the workout. So remember that if you want to get an extra workout in today, uh, the best thing for you to do would be to do the workout before this video. So hit pause or stop, go find another video or go do your workout and then come back. We do want you to be warm. So for us, we're filming this right after one of our workouts earlier in the week. Uh, so we are already very warm and ready for a nice cool down stretch. So we're going to be doing static stretching. So we're going to be holding. So seriously, if you just woke up and rolled out of bed and thought you'd do this, turn it off, <laughs> please. Or go do a warm up for five minutes. Go do a set of, you know, swimmers, squats and push ups, bang it out, you know, 20 of each and then come over and do the stretching. You'll be much more warmed up. Uh, but so if you're warmed up, let's get started. We're doing everything with a band today just to show you another style of stretching. Um, we are going to start with our upper body standing and we're going to finish with more lower body on the mat. It's going to be somewhere around 20 minutes as usual and hopefully you feel nice and recovered and restored for the fun weekend ahead of living in quarantine. <laughs> so we're going to start overhead and work a little bit on stretching out our torso so you'll probably feel some good lat stretches. Uh, maybe some stretch going down into your lower back. So we're going to go overhead and all we're going to do is just do like an oblique crunch and lean over to the side, making sure you pull a little bit of tension on that band. And we're going to hold here just for like a, a few seconds. The three, two, we'll switch over to the other side. Making sure that we're not letting our, our back move around in a ton. You'll probably notice one side is tighter than the other or maybe you're just tight in different locations. For me, I'm tighter uh, up near my lats, up near my armpits, my upper lats. On this side, switching again. When I go to this side, I'm much tighter down in my QL and my low back. And I attribute that all to the baby. And we're gonna switch one more time. We're gonna stay in this posture. We're gonna do a little chest stretch and then try one more torso stretch. So coming back up tall, now, keeping your core nice and tight. I don't want, to, don't want you guys to extend at all. Keep that core tight. You're just gonna pull those arms back a little bit. Feel that stretch through our chest. And we're just gonna hold here for about 15 seconds to 20 seconds. You don't need to push it and try to go crazy. I don't want you to try to pull your arms down back to your hips. I want you to feel a nice, light stretch on the inside of your chest front of your shoulders. All right, bring those arms down, get a little bit of blood flow before we switch. What I'm gonna have you do is go back to that first stretch and we're gonna add just a little bit of rotation to it. So arms go overhead, we're gonna lean to that side and I just want you to turn a little bit, see if that changes where that stretch is, maybe go a little further. This takes it all the way down into my low back. Pulling up a little through that mid back up by my rib cage. Three, two, coming up. Really use that rotation. Same thing, bend to the side, rotating through. There we go. Holding here. Three, two, coming back up. All right, so now, a little blood flow back to those arms again. We'll do a little tricep stretch. So to show you, uh, Jane will show you from the side, the way she's standing, I'm gonna turn all the way around and show you from the back. So, you're gonna hold on this band, one arm high, one arm low, and you're actually pulling down on your band to create that stretch for your tricep. Keep your core nice and neutral. If you couldn't hear anything I just said because I was talking to the wall, you're gonna pull down on the band, keeping your core neutral, creating a stretch in your tricep. And we're gonna switch. exercises standing it's good to keep think about keeping your knees unlocked and not walking around with those locked knees locked knees is probably going to increase the likelihood of you going into that extended posture in the low back and you want to avoid that and take a break all right we're going to go down to our mat oh wait let's do one more for the upper body we'll do a low chest stretch so holding down behind uh, low by your hips and you're just gonna raise those arms up a little bit, keeping that core nice and tight. 
making sure that our knees are slightly bent, and you should feel that stretch through the front of your shoulders and into your chest. around a little bit and move that head side to side, kind of swinging your chin from shoulder to shoulder. Feel it as that stretch changes or maybe increases a little bit up to your neck. And take a break. Down to the floor now, for real. So we're going to work through uh, three hamstring stretches. So the first one is just going to be a traditional stretch. Put that strap right around near the arch of your shoe. And I should have said this earlier, guys, but if you do not have a strap like this, like a, a infinity strap like we do, um, you can use anything. You can use a resistance band, you can use a jump rope, you can use a regular piece of rope, you can use a towel, uh, whatever is long enough for you to easily hold on to. So the smallest size I think you'd be able to do most of this with is a hand towel if you're flexible, but you'd be much better off with like a full, full size towel. Um, or a jump rope or something like that. Okay, all right, leg up. I want you to try to pull that toe slightly down towards you, not overly aggressive so that you only feel you're stretching your, uh, in your calf, but just enough to keep that, to get a little bit of stretch below where our hamstrings are uh, inserting at our knee. Keep just a soft, soft bend. Don't jam that knee completely locked. A little bit of a bend there. And we're just holding here. Make sure that your upper body is relaxed. Try not to hold that head up off the ground the whole time. Just try to breathe evenly. Keep your bottom leg nice and straight out away from you. Toes both facing the same direction. You feel a nice stretch all the way from that hamstring all the way up through that calf. We're going to switch sides, so just bring that leg up, step into that band, rope, whatever you've got. Same thing, bottom leg is nice and straight, upper body is quiet, soft, soft bend in that knee, not locking the joint completely, a little bit of pull from the toe, feeling that stretch calf and the hamstring all the way down. So if as you're doing these guys, you find anywhere that feels super, super tight, it's probably a good, a good alert or a good red flag or a good sign that you need to be stretching that muscle group a little bit more. A lot of people are gonna come out of quarantine <laughs> with some low back tightness issues, and if you can stay on top of your flexibility throughout quarantine, you'll be in a much better position. Increased sitting is, is pretty, pretty rough on the body. So try to stay active. And we're gonna switch back to the first leg. We're gonna go for an inner thigh stretch next. So again, we're gonna straighten this leg flat on the ground. You might have to change your tension here. So you might need to loosen up a little bit so that you can figure out how far open you can open your leg up. The, the key here too is that you want to keep that soft bend in the knee so that we don't put too much stress in the joint. And your leg might need to be a little bit lower than it is vertically in the air. But try to find that spot where you feel that nice, soft, gentle pull through your hand, through your inner thighs. Try to keep your toe pointing back up towards your head versus any rotation towards the sky. So want to avoid much of a much rolling around so try not to cave all the way over to the side in order to get your foot down if you are having a little bit of support issue you can always wrap that strap around the leg to help support the leg as you fall open and we're going to raise back up you might want to use your opposite hand for a little bit of help Raising back up, if you're taking that strap around approach, it is helpful in getting your leg back up off the ground. Bottom leg is extended straight. Soft bend in that knee.
doing that nice, gentle inner thigh stretch. I can't say that enough. Stretching done to an extreme, uh, especially a point of pain, is really dangerous, guys. The whole, our body is set up to prevent itself from injury, so overstretching actually triggers a response in our body that causes our muscles to tighten up, so they shorten, so that they cannot lengthen any longer to prevent an injury from occurring. So it's the opposite of what you want to accomplish. So you directly negate, or in, in fact make it worse than where you started. So make sure that you're always gently stretching and do it regularly versus once in a while and you'll see a ton of benefit. All right, we're coming back up to the top. So now we're gonna go cross body here and stretch a little bit of our outer thigh, IT band, outer hamstring. Uh, so we're gonna cross across the body now, coming towards the ground. So again, you can choose to loop that around on the inside for a little bit of support if you would like to. This one, you're gonna feel that hip pull off the ground. And you might, again, need to adjust what angle you keep that leg at in order to have comfort. But you might feel this all the way up through your glute. You might just feel it down your leg, whatever it is. You might feel a little bit through that back, depending on what your flexibility is and your range of motion. But we're keeping that upper body nice and calm. Try to keep both of your shoulders on the ground here. I know that I said our upper body is still, but be, be conscious that you're keeping both shoulders down and that you're keeping your head relaxed to the ground through all of these. We'll stay here for a few more seconds. And great, coming back up to the top. We are gonna leave our, our uh, strap on this leg, but we're gonna move it down, move it around your ankle. We're gonna keep this leg nice and straight. We're gonna hold on to our strap here and get a little glute stretch. So I'm gonna have you brace with one arm against your knee. So it's my right leg, excuse me, my, yeah, my right leg is bent. My right hand is bracing and I'm pulling in from my left arm, creating that stretch through my glutes. Lighten up on the hand pushing. You're just trying to find a little bit of where you get the biggest stretch here. Three, two, and relax. We're going to switch the foot inside the strap or the towel or whatever you're using. Opposite leg is straight. And again, pulling in and across using this hand in your left hand in this case to manipulate the knee a little bit if needed. Again, that upper body is nice and quiet here. Not a whole lot going on anywhere else. Good. 
taking a break here. I'm gonna have you roll over to your stomach. We're gonna do a, a quad stretch here. So I'm gonna show you on my side because I can't lay on my stomach. Jane will show you on the stomach. Um, stomach gives us a little bit of awareness for what our body is doing and hopefully can control that massive amount of extension that some people get when they try to stretch their quad. Something that I'll lose by being on my side, but I'm gonna be very aware of it and in control. So just as Jane has it, you're gonna hook it around your foot. You're gonna actually want the band, uh, the, the band loop portion to be around your toe or the top of your shoe so that you can use it to pull your foot closer to your butt. So we're gonna lay through this quad stretch. I'm on my side, Jane is straight, trying to pull that foot right to our butt. Squeezing our glutes a little bit here. Remember, gentle stretch. Gentle, gentle stretch. The other thing we don't want to see is your knee swinging way out to the side, or in my case, up towards the ceiling. And keep it nice and neutral in line. It'll change the stretch dramatically if you're moving that leg around. It tells us a lot about where you're tight. You might need to lighten up on the, the amount of, of pull you're providing if your knee is swinging out to the side. And break. We're going to switch legs. here today guys is going to be for a little bit more for our hips and our quads. So a lot of times um, when we do our kneeling hip stretch uh, or our kneeling quad stretch we want to try to increase the amount of stretch but it's hard to reach that back uh, that back foot and one of the and that's one of the ways we increase the amount of stretch we change that angle of play that's happening at our knee joint. So that's what we're going to use the strap for today. So you're going to get into a split kneeling stance, one foot forward, one foot back. The strap is actually going to go around the foot in the back. Might be easier to do that right away. But once you are in uh, this position, we're going to squeeze our glutes and flip our hips under. And then you can actually use this strap, pull that leg up off the ground and try and pull it closer to your butt. It's going to really intensify the stretch quite a bit here. but make sure that we are squeezing our glutes so that we don't extend in our abdomen and relax everything so that we're in this arched position. We want to stay hips and pelvis tucked under. Another good one for people who are sitting a lot. Open up those hips. Three, two, and break. Good. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So make sure that the first thing you do is get into the right position before pulling on that strap. Make sure that your hips are tucked under and you are keeping that pelvis neutral or, or slightly tilted under. And 
don't know if you guys can get a good angle of me or not, but I'm dramatically tighter on this left, on this right side. And Jane is working on her balance. You can always do these next to something, right guys? You can always have a couch or a wall or something if you do feel a little off balance, chair, bench, whatever it is. Something that might make you feel a little bit more secure. We'll stay here for about six more seconds. And take a break. All right, guys. It's all she wrote. It's all we're going to do for today anyways. So it's just another use for a band. We've always used it for strength training in our videos. Um, we thought we'd show you another way and get a little bit of extra recovery in for the week. There's a whole lot of other things you can do. Those are just some of our favorite and kind of addressed overall a lot of the uh, areas, muscle groups of the body that we worked this week. So have a great weekend. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.